Commissioner, the European Union has built a tremendously respected process of fighting human trafficking and protecting its victims. It's six years since the anti-trafficking directive came into force. It's held up globally as the gold standard for its gender-specific and victim-centered approach. But new challenges are emerging and the number of trafficked people continues to rise. The nature of this crime makes it hard, but not impossible, for authorities to obtain data and identify victims. There is it is therefore absolutely essential that we allocate EU funding in an effective evidence-based system to address sexual exploitation and invest in prevention. Human trafficking is a high-profit crime. We know, need to know who buys and who profits. It is also vital that trafficked individuals are seen as victims, not criminals, and help to recover. Europe can and must do more. Human trafficking is still a threat and feeds on poverty. However, only 10 member states have so far established using a victim of trafficking as a criminal offence. Commissioner, this House demands that we continue our efforts to stop impunity and make prosecution of traffickers and their users our biggest priority. Although most victims are, are of European origin, the refugee crisis is feeding the supply, especially the thousands of unaccompanied vulnerable minors. We've made progress in the EU, but we need to plan the next stage. Without action and funding, we will slip backwards. And that is why we ask the Commission to publish its new strategy now. We, but more importantly the victims, cannot wait. Human trafficking is happening now in Europe, where we all live, and we must open our eyes and continue the Commission's work on addressing human trafficking. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner.